Hey, sweet thing, welcome back to my channel. Wagwan, wagwan. <laughs> my name is Flora. Welcome to another video on here. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you for deciding to click on this video. It means a lot that you saw so many videos and then you decided to click on my own. I, I appreciate that. I love you for it, okay? I hope you really enjoy your time here. You know, give me some time. Stick around, look around, see what you like. And then if you like more than one thing, please make sure you subscribe, okay, please? Thank you. <laughs> and then if you're from around the streets, you're an OG, you're used to this life, you're used to my face, you're used to my voice and all of that good stuff, what's happening with you? How are you feeling today? It's so good that, you know, you wanted to come and keep up with me and then there's another video for you to watch. How, how nice is that, right? <laughs> This video is basically like an advice to my younger self type of video. Advice to also younger women that would maybe want to learn one or two things that's happening in life or in their life. You might learn something in this video. Um, just stick around, okay? Okay. <laughs> So I really hate the fact that like, there's no handbook to this adulting life. I mean, we go to school for what, over 16 years and there is no guidance to what we should really be doing in our lives. I really, really wish someone told me how important it was to experiment in my 20s. The first thing I'll tell you is it is very, very, very okay to be confused. It's very, very, very okay to not know what you want in life, to not know what you want from life, to not know what you want to do, to not know what your purpose is. One of the ways to get clarity is for you to experiment and try out new things. Try out new experiences. Travel if the opportunity comes, you know. Of course, I mean, we're in Nigeria and traveling is not exactly the safest um, thing to do right now, but if you know that that journey is safe enough, please go try out new hobbies try out new skills take interest in new things and sure keep an open mind while trying out these things okay I remember the first time a friend of mine tried to play snooker uh, recently and then she hit the ball the very first time she was bad at it and she was like oh no i would never learn this thing no it's your first time okay if it looked interesting well enough for you to want to try it out you might as well give it a shot and just keep going at it okay so it's fine to be confused it's fine to be bad at something now um, just only have the mindset of working on it and trying to be better okay put yourself out there accept rejection rejection is not the worst thing on earth the okay. second tip i would give is do you do you my beloved sis in the society you are in now everybody's getting married and you genuinely are not interested in that there's nothing wrong with you your values are just different and i'm not also saying the people that are getting married are crazy also no your values are just different if you wanted to create a youtube channel and then maybe your friend sees it as a very cringy thing to do your friend sees it as a very stupid thing to do that's fine that your friend sees it that way don't allow the expectations of other people stop you from exploring the things and the opportunities that you want to explore okay sweet sis okay. one very important thing that i wish they told me about i wish the big sis called me and told me about is my dear sister man we stain your wild so there is no point trying to kill yourself for any man you need to be careful around men especially as a young impressionable woman you need to be very, very careful around men, especially older men that like younger women. It's so easy for these men to manipulate you. It's so easy for these men to tell you what you want to hear. And then in your mind, you are there out there thinking, okay, this man really loves me. This man really cares about me. Use your head. Don't use your emotion. Just be very careful out there with men. They are out here to dirty your wives, to disgrace you in the public eye, okay? So my dear, don't be caught off guard. Thanks. Another thing I wish someone told me, <laughs> I wish they told me to not allow, oh, I don't have money to limit me, right? Yes, I understand that at 20, you might not have access to all the resources that you want, financial resources that you want, 
but please and please and please if you have a goal if you have something you want to do something you set your mind to do um i don't believe that lack of funds should be a reason for you to not try it out when you want to try out something you see you see only the big picture right you see the end goal of the thing you want to do but then how about you take a step back and then you just think okay what is the easiest thing what is the smallest thing i can do right now to make me reach this big goal that i have for myself what is the tiniest thing you know it could be as tiny as talking to or having a mentor in that field it could be as tiny as having an internship it could be as tiny as learning one of the skills that you need to get you to that point if it's business you want to do and then you don't have the money to do it well do you know or do you have ideas about what what it takes to run a business like that do you have the skill to run that business any information that you want you could easily just get on your phone have a google search in fact join communities and basically learn from the people in that community so please don't ever allow i don't have money to stop you from reaching and achieving the goals that you want always think of what is the smallest cheapest thing i can do right now that would somehow pay me in the future for that big goal that i have for myself so don't ever stop trying to work on yourself another thing i wish um one of the big sis told me about was to accept change accept change things will change your life would not remain the same where you are this year will be different from where you are next year the only thing is now would it be a good change or would it be a bad change one of the things i hate to hear is someone that has a bad attitude and then goes around saying that's how i am no i get it that's how you are now but does it mean that you can't change to be better does it mean you can't work on yourself and develop yourself to be better two three months or six months down the line no even as little as friendship you could your best friend today might not be your best friend tomorrow don't forget we're working to towards being that badass bitch that you are so you might not be able to carry everybody along with you what you believe today might not be the same thing you believe tomorrow i know so many things i told myself in this life that i would never ever ever do my sister we are the gang leader of those things right now <laughs> And that's because of change okay something else that i wish I advice my younger self is accept yourself i'm talking about physically now when i was 20 i was a whole lot fatter than what i am right now um, i put on a lot of weight i mean asu went on strike for about six months i was at home just eating enjoying my life by the time i came back to school i was yakbati i was big okay um of course my body changed because i used to be skinnier my body changed i had stretch marks um you know my tummy was bigger and instead of me to accept and love myself in that form i just felt like i should hide myself away when i started learning how to love myself and accept my body i was just done you know always trying to cover up myself i won't i won't wear anything sleeveless right because i was trying to hide my stretch marks on my arms and i remember one time i went out and i met a friend of mine at the bus stop we we're just for a while and then he looked at my stretch marks and he was like wow you be letting your stretch marks out it's so horrible it's so ugly well it's horrible it's ugly but uncle there's nothing i can do about it it's on my body i wish i could scrape it off i can't scrape it off i really can't is it your belly fat is it your big forehead is it your scatter scatter teeth whatever it is love yourself at that time especially if there are things that you cannot change accept those things about you because no matter how much you hate yourself they will be there no matter how much you hate what it looks like on your body it is on your body it is part of your body one of the good ways to also do this is by affirmations okay so go online and search affirmations there are affirmations for basically everything search for the affirmation that suits you and then say these things to yourself every day repeat it to yourself as often as you can and just learn to love yourself another advice to my younger self will be that motivation is not enough motivation is not enough motivation is just like food right you could eat breakfast right now 
but in less than six hours you're hungry again and you need to eat again you need to understand the fact that discipline is what you need and not motivation yes it's very good to be motivated but do you ever understand why you're motivated today you see something and you're so sure that yes i'm going to do this i'm going to i'm going to go out there i'm going to do this and i'm going to kill it but then the next day you can't even stand up from your bed to do that thing that you are so sure you are going to do yesterday yeah you were motivated yesterday right but it's discipline that will make you stand up from that bed stand up from that place that you are to try out that thing you said you were going to try self-discipline is what makes you do what you want to do even if you feel like the crappiest person in the world one last thing I'm that i wish um, the big aunties or the big sis actually told me was learning about money even if you don't have money, learn about money. Learn the things that you would want to do when you have money. Because money will definitely come, okay? Try to learn about money as much as you can. And it will definitely help you. Because the younger you start making money, the younger you start saving money, the younger you start investing money, the better for you. Because when you're younger, you can make certain kind of risks, right? Um, if you're 20, you don't have a kid, you don't have a husband, you don't have a family to raise, it's easy for you to lose money and then it's not a big deal. Rather than someone that's 30 and, you know, if he loses money, that could have been money that could have taking care of his kids school fees for that month or his kids pampas or maybe bought food for the house or something like that okay so as much as possible try to learn about money there are so many materials and resources out there podcasts youtube videos instagram pages that you can just follow and as little as possible you're absorbing the knowledge little by little trust me when the money finally comes you'll be able to make wiser decisions for yourself i really hope that you learned one or two things from this video i mean i'm not trying to be serious out here but this is serious talk okay because i wish someone called me aside i wish someone sat me down and kept on breaking these things down for me do you get do you get or someone could have just told me what to expect in life because sometimes some of the things that we get to learn in life is you didn't even think that this was an experience you were going to get. It might have just happened. And then that's where you learn your big lesson. Okay? Okay. Anyways, this is where I wrap up the video. Thank you for sticking around to this point. If you enjoyed the video or you learned one or two things, please subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe because I'll be back again with another video just like this if you would like. And also feel free to drop in the comment section whatever it is you would love to tell me. If you have any tips to your younger self, something that you wish you learned. In fact, even as a younger person yourself, you actually have something that, oh, please, can you talk about this particular thing? Please just drop it in the comments. And as much as I can talk about it or share my experience with you, I will. Okay? Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Until I catch you in another video. Mwah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Please share, okay?